Well, Nitro Weeb, this is where my Pokemon adventure begins. With a Game Boy Advance SP. And it works. See? Green light. I got this, like, a few years afterwards, but... I eventually had to get my hands on the original one for using this cable to trade in between Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire, the OG cartridges. And I got these about the same time they came out. Back then, if you wanted to, if you were riding a bus, this was like the only game you had. You didn't have smartphones or anything. And because I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, I had to get the strategy guide. Woohoo. And other things. Try not to make a mess. Eventually, they came out with other stuff for this, like this scanner. You plug it into the. You know, here, let's turn that on. Give me a second. And you have this e-reader here. I don't know if you can see. E-reader. And it's a scanner. You could use these battle cards. For fighting with other... People, the scan code here where my thumb is, you scan that through the scanner here, and it would expand the game. But it wasn't just the cards here, they also had things for fruit. Which would apparently, this berry is an amazing sour and is heavy due to its dense filing. The instructions say when you scan one of these, it became that way in every game. Here's another one. And another one. And eventually... So you plug this, you plug this thing here up and... Up in the serial port, which basically goes through, plugs into the Game Boy, and then you plug your other one in your game in here and plug it into there, and you can scan the cards. And that's how that worked. But all the batter the batteries are drained out. Yeah, here here's one of the cards, a lot of them. They were just like Four or five packs. I have them all. Pain in the ass. They weren't really hard to get. They were all on clearance when I got them. The scanner and the cards were all on clearance when I got them. So they were relatively cheap. <coughs> Eventually they came. Uh, or actually, they came out with uh, Leaf Green a couple years later and Fire Red. And let me turn that off. And of course, because I'm not so smart, here's the other strategy guide. This is the theme with me and being lack of smart, I guess, to go with it. And then, after those two, they came out with Pokemon Emerald, which came with a nice little with a nice little box and all that. But again, because of lack of smart. Here's the official Prima Guide <laughs> for Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> okay, well, let me clean up this mess and we'll continue my Pokemon journey. So, my journey continues starting in the DS era. Yep, still works, believe it or not. And in the DS era, that's when they came with Pokemon Pearl and Diamond. I don't have Diamond. Could get it, I guess, but I'd pay a small fortune. So basically, if you played the game. Oh, here, let's, let's just turn this off. There's the instruction book. They, I still can't believe they took away instruction books from 
games. And see, here's the card. For what it's worth. You plug it into your DS upside. Oh, wait, there's a game in there. Look at that. Advanced Wars DS. <laughs> okay. So you plug in your game here. When you got far enough in the Diamond game, you could plug in your Game Boy Advance version into the front like this. And turn it on. And that's how you transferred your games eventually into... Oh, wait. That's how you eventually transfer your games into this. Pokemon Pearl. And again, because I'm not so smart... It came with a strategy guide. Yeah, this is the same. I always got strategy guides because I'm not smart, and YouTube wasn't a thing then. And if you wanted the Pokedex, here you go. Volume 2 for the Pokedex for after things. These books start getting significantly huger the farther... I mean... Here's the book, Codex and Everything for Pokemon Ruby. There's the book for... Pokemon Diamond. Much bigger. And then it eventually got to Pokemon Soul Silver and Pokemon Heart Gold. And yes, we have another strategy guide. With another huge codex. Eventually, they came out with Pokemon Platinum. Of course, another strategy guide. <laughs> like I said, there's a theme here. And Pokemon White and Black. I got Black. Wifey Poo got White. And surprise, no strategy guide. I didn't get one at the time. I saw the... I did not like the um, animations or the stuff for this game much, so I haven't played it much. Oh well. So, let's pause for the... So, we come to the 3DS era. Woohoohoo. And, of course, it still works. And thank God, because my eyes see this really so much better. But, we have Pokemon Y... And this game, I bought it, unwrapped it. I've never played it. Pawned it a few times, but never played it. Because by X and Y, I got stuck, and I'm just like, I'm so tired. They have Pokemon in here that only evolve in certain spots. And it's like, oh my god. And Pokemon Moon, and then I just stopped. I'm like, enough, enough, enough. I can't do it anymore. And then they came out with um, the Switch versions, which was the one you were supposed to go with Pokemon Go, and I'm, I'd like to try that, but then I lost my Switch. So I don't have a Switch anymore, but I don't really have much... Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. The console versions... Really dusty. For the Game Boy uh, Nintendo GameCube, they came out with Coliseum. And they came out with Pokemon XD. I got those. Those were cool. Well, this one, not so much. In this one, you were basically like a thief stealing Pokemon, and then you'd battle with them to open up their hearts and turn them back into normal. You only had 
the fir well, first move you got was like Shadow Punch or something, and that's all you could ever use. And then the move sucked. This one you could do it a little more automatically, but oh well. Most of my Pokemon stuff is all old. Everyone, I, I heard a YouTuber refer to it as Geriatric Pokemon. And who would be interested in Geriatric Pokemon? So, I don't know. I haven't played the game much in years. And since I don't have a Switch anymore, I haven't really been interested in it. But there, that's my personal journey with Pokemon. Enjoy. <laughs>